am alaja shefiat yabo shitabi six number six daughter a child of alaji abdurrahim shitabi who was the second son of zulu shitabi who was one of the 22 children of Muhammad Shitabi. Ah, well, a lot has been written and said about Muhammad Shitabi, which we are very proud to be one of the descendants of Allah, uh, it's not Alaji, Muhammad Shitabi. He was um, a Muslim, he propagates mostly Islam in a positive way. And through the way he handled it, he was known all over the world, not just in uh, uh, African shows, abroad as far as UK and Turkey. He was well known. He devoted his life to propagating Islam and then he was a very generous man. He was so generous that his money was no ended. In his time, he was one of the richest, if it's not the, the richest man in his time and he donated so much. And he enjoyed building mosque. That's what made him so popular and people appreciate him. And through doing things like that, he was given many titles. One of them is that Shita Bay, is the Bay of the Shita, which was given to him by Turkish Empire. At that time, he, he heard about the way he was propagating Islam and how he was spending so much. And he built a mosque with so much money at that time. It was one of the documented in one of these uh, um, things that we get on the WhatsApp. He, the mosque was supposed to be the first in Africa. It was documented. I do have it. If you want it, I will send it on your WhatsApp. He was born in Sierra Leone, Waterloo. That was why. His father was one of the uh, slaves. When he came to Lagos, he started trading in mats, sandals, calabashes, uh, beads, this uh, in and the blue one. Because I remember I, I, I saw those in the then Agule Shitabi in Martin Street. I was fortunate to see those there. And then later on, he became a manufacturer. He went to Ego, which was is still a Nupe uh, town in Niger State. So he had a factory there, which he put his own brother to be running it. And he would just go for about three months in a year. Then about uh, 17 years later, he closed the factory and stationed in Lagos. Apart from all these manufacturing things he, is, uh, he was selling and trading and this, he, the expatriate too, he deals with them and he became their agent. I don't know what he was getting from them, but he was an agent to some expatriates. Uh -huh. This Shitabe, like I told you, he 
was well known and loved by many, including this our expatriate and the governor, Governor Cotter at that time. So he had rapport with them. And um, he, with others, not only him alone, there are quite a few Muslim at that time. They were saying that uh, they should try and let us use Sharia law for our children and for our, uh, get our spouses. And I think that the British law doesn't conform with what the Quran is saying. So he, it was the time of Governor Carter. And this thing is give and take. He was told by the governor that you must allow this your children to learn Western, to have Western education as well. I think he, he too was propagating it and he was trying to have a school, but unfortunately he died before the school came into operation. Oh, this this uh, shit have been looking at you like that too. They, <laughs> they are looking at you. Hey, what she saying? <laughs> yes, from the foundation to the roof. And when he was building it, it was architectural wonder that many people will come and see it and they applaud him. Even right now, I tell you, one day we were having a meeting at, across the road. That is Great Nigeria. That place will belong to us eventually. <laughs> we're having a meeting there. And this uh, European, I saw him across. I was there. I was, I was very curious to see, uh, what's this one doing? Taking photograph. So I left. I went and interviewed him. Oh, good afternoon, how are you, this, that, and the other, why are you taking? He said, I'm from Canada. I've seen this uh, in the, on the map or something. So I, when I had the opportunity to come to Nigeria, that's why I've come here to visit it and to take photographs. So he built it from the foundation. And when he finished building it, the, uh, the Turkish, uh, uh, woman at that time. He was the ruler of e Muslims at that time. He heard about it. There was a letter they wrote to him. He heard about it. And they said, what? And that kind of colossal money that he used. They said 3,000 pounds to 5,000 pounds he spent. I want to believe it. Because the tiles that he used all imported from Italy. The Masons, they were Portu um, Brazilians. They were the same people that built um, Catholic Mission, the church, Catholic Mission. They were the same Mason that built it. Uh -huh. So he did spend a lot of money and then the mosque itself, the design was very unique. Apart from building the mosque, he built another quarter for the imam and the muazim, the helper, beside it. Most of today, they bulldoze that away. And the mosque was standing. In 1974, I think the, I'm not sure whether it's mirror or daily times carried it the one that missed the bulldozer. It's, it was just the mosque standing amongst the ruins of then Lagos because uh, cl uh, clearance, they, they were clearing Lagos at that time. That was the time they cleared the uh, compound itself and they made the Martin Street wider. 
to the, it was just sitting among the ruins and they took the photo and say the one that missed the bulldozer so the Moazim house went with the bulldozer The first um, uh, Imam Ibrahim, they call him Ibrahim the first, in Central Mosque, installed him as the Seriki. But it was the consensus for everybody that ah, this man that is propagating Islam this way and spending so much. And he made sure that in Yoruba land, he has money in all the mosques built at that time. If he's not roofing it, he's doing this, he's doing that. Even the central mosque at that time, he replaced the uh, thatched wood roof with corrugated iron sheet, and he built it with uh, blocks. The central mosque at that time. So they decided, oh, this is a good one to make him our head. It wasn't only Seri King Muslim they gave him. And the Baba Adini, uh, I don't know how I can translate that for, but Baba Adini. So he was holding two titles at his time. 